Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Reiner Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I have another breakdown for you guys. Um, kind of branching off my last video, uh, how to make designs like an NFL team. This time, I got how to make designs like an NBA team. So, um, I put up a poll and asked kind of which team I should base things off of, and I got a couple saying the Thunder. So, uh, I went ahead and it did just that. So, I pulled the most recent kind of like complex graphic I could find um, on their page. And so it was this Josh Giddy one, uh, rookie of the month, uh, kind of has the stats pretty basic, um, pretty clean though. I, I like it, but, uh, yeah, I went ahead and recreated it in a four by five format with shy and obviously he's not rookie of the month or nothing, but, uh, that's just kind of placeholder text, but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the PSD. And as always, it's going to be in the description with a download link. So have fun, have at it, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, I start all these documents off with hex colors so I could pull from to use throughout because you can see you know the blue here the orange things like that it's just handy to have it um in the document um and i'm gonna start off with the mask because it's kind of all based around that so it's just a regular mask i put a skin on it camera raw filter and selective color so i'll kind of walk you guys through that skin same thing as always uh pretty simple in topaz so just filter uh topaz labs and adjust stylized vivacious transparency at around 80 uh, click on apply psychedelic a little bit apply HDR I like to throw in some uh, dynamic pop apply and then a little last touch is photo pop or mild contrast whichever fits better I like the mild contrast and okay and then just kind of lower the opacity right click put it on a uh, clipping mask it's already on one but so that's that just kind of makes it pop a little more uh camera raw didn't go too crazy just kind of up the lights and darks i'll show you guys how to do that so copy both these layers merge so they're one and then create a clipping mask filter camera raw and uh, just this first initial panel here kind of play with the exposure highlights shadows etc um, but as you can see it's not too much of a difference so pretty simple and then selective color here uh just went through and and adjusted uh what i felt could use some adjusting to get the skin tones i wanted the blues i wanted um and stuff like that so make sure to put it on a clipping mask too so it only affects the skin layer as you can see here it's only affecting shy but if i take off that clipping mask it affects the whole document so that's what a clipping mask does if you didn't know um so that's that got a little reflection here to make this i just copied this merged it flip vertical lined it up with the thing here then uh right click perspective hold alt you can drag out from a corner so you get this kind of thing distort it and just kind of bring it up a little bit and go to filter blur gaijin blur and just blur it just a little bit control alt shift b is a uh, black and white um hot key or key bind so uh sorry if i'm going a little quick but that's that I control U, brightened it up just a little bit and then um, use that layer mask so it only appears just a little bit um, and you can kind of brush it in just a tad but you want to keep it really subtle um, so yeah that's how I got this reflection the shadow as always is just get the brush preset here roundness lower it and click and that's that Let's find the right roundness and position it properly you could also use distort to make it thinner uh, kind of hold alt and or control sorry from corners you can get different angles perspective is also good to get different things just kind of line it up with whatever picture you're using but that's how i went about doing that um, the background here so for this what i did uh to recreate this basic thing uh background I just got a regular gradient of of kind of white to light gray so to do that i got the gradient tool uh, clicked on one end made it white on the other made it this gray so just here just down a little bit and then I have to do is just click it drag it and there you go so got a little more white to touch it up at the top um, but that's that not much going on here for this um, I just got this is actually just a regular photo of shy the regular uh, thing I cut him out of uh, put this back square there I blurred it with filter blur gaijin blur 
put a black and white layer on it, which is right here in your adjustment panel. Added a white, which is just literally just get the fill tool, paint bucket, fill it with white, and then I just put the opacity on 70. Selective colored it a little bit to bring down the whites. So to do that, I just got this and dragged it uh, this way towards the blacks, and it kind of drains out the white a little bit. Got one more just to make it a little more dark gray, but uh, not too much going on there. Basically just recreating that square. Uh, now for the text. So not too crazy. For this is the stat list. I mean, it's just the font I use. I try to find similar ones. Monument Extended and Tungsten. So, uh, I mean, not too much to go into here. It's just, it is what it is. This is just a regular rectangle with the same text. And for this Rookie of the Month banner, all I did was uh same text here basically just kind of adjusted it to fit for the rectangle just got the rectangle tool dragged it out and then uh to get that gradient i used my hex colors i had in here and i just did three so i put to copy what it was in the picture but um as a reference that's what it was and that's kind of what we got so pretty identical if you ask me for the color correction you can see there's a difference here um all I did was add some gradient maps. So color dodge, multiply, and overlay color dodge. You'll get some lights. Multiply, you'll get some darks. And to do that, all you have to do is click this here and you get the black and white gradient. Um, and that's just different blend modes. This is all this is. So uh, not too much going on here. Curves, lights and darks, same thing. So curves, and you can drag it up to get some lights. Darks to get some down. Just use a, a layer mask to kind of brush them in. Uh, look up. So this is color lookups here. Click this and you get a whole list of stuff you can use. Um, so I went through and I, I got crisp, warm, and Kodak uh, to kind of get that little kind of faded, washed look a little bit. Makes it a little brighter too. And then lastly, just uh, vibrant and selective color. So same thing I did on the mask on shot. I did it for the whole image. Um, and then I got a vibrance which is just here. And you kind of bring some more colors out. So. That's the CC, not too complex. And then just the watermark in the corner, and that's it. So pretty simple. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot to tag on this rectangle. And there you go. <laughs> all right, finished product. That's, that's uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. Just a quick breakdown and recreation of that uh, Giddy image. Um, if you have any more suggestions, recommendations, leave them in the comments below. Any comments, questions, hit me on socials or comment down below. My socials are always in the description. And uh, that's that. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, hope this helps. And I'll catch you guys next one. Peace out.